Hi there, welcome to another episode of Getting Started with Microsoft Fabric and in this episode we are going to talk about data science in Microsoft Fabric. Please do note that this is based on Microsoft documentation and if you would like to view the course or the scripts, I'm going to provide you a link in the description section. Not only that, before starting this as a prerequisite, please do remember that this is not a Python tutorial or a data science tutorial, but I'm going to show you how you can experiment or create your different regression or classic models in Microsoft Fabric. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to ingest the data, explore the data in a notebook. Then we are going to process the data with the data wrangler and we are going to train two types of models over here. What we are going to do, we are going to do one thing. We are going to switch over here, which are, which are the different personas or different experiences in Microsoft Fabric from Power BI to data science. Let's go over here. Over here you would find similar elements that you generally see and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new workspace over here. To create a new workspace, I'm going to create simply a new workspace over here and I'm going to give it a name. So that's going to be my workspace name. But please do remember that it should be on the trial node or if you already have the fabric license, you can create on that node. Once you do that, you have to again navigate to on over here into the data science so that we can create a notebook. Now, whatever you are going to create, it's going to create in the same, same same workspace over here. You can also check that this notebook is in demo fabric data science workspace over here. That's what I have done. I have done nothing specific over there. So once you are over here, you have to also give it a name to your notebook if you would like to. Otherwise, I'm going to leave it as notebook one itself. Now. What you have to do, you have to come in this cell and you have to type something over here. For example, right now it's saying welcome to notebook, etc. But what I'm going to do, this is a demo for data science in Microsoft Fabric. And after that, you can click on this markdown button so that it becomes a heading over here. You would see that heading is not that much. So you can again go here, add it and give it a space. And now it's going to appear a bigger one which we really want to do over here. So let's just come over here. And this is a demo for data science in Microsoft Fabric. Now we have to create another code. And what we are going to do, we are going to get a data. But from where we are going to get the data, we are going to get the data from the Azure Open Data Set. For that, I'm going to simply run a code. I'm not going to write anything. As I mentioned, this is not a Python tutorial or a data science tutorial. Rather than it's a demo where I'm going to show you how you can create and run your models or how you can wrangle the data over here. So I'm going to paste my code over here where you can see this simply that this is going to be my path where I'm going to get the data. So you can simply click over here and run the code. All right, my spark job one, 101 is succeeded and it's been done. So now I'm going to create another cell over here, which is my code cell and I'm going to display my DF or data frame. And how to display that? If you already know the Python, it's very simple. Type df and it's going to display your data frame. Again, you can run it from here and it's going to display you the data. Over here, the output is going to show the rows and columns of this diabetes data set that we have, which you can see that. So this is my diabetes data set where you would get the age, sex, BMI, etc. and a column Y at last. Now, once you are over here, you would also notice that there is an option which is chart. So we are going to visualize the data over here and you can see my chart is over here. But you can also customize this chart furthermore. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to rather than a bar chart, I would like to have a box plot chart which is over here. And I don't want any key column over here. And in terms of values, I'm going to use column Y, not this one. And simply click on apply button. And this is my box chart which is ready. So what we have done over here? We have simply get the data and we visualize the data that how our data is appearing. Once you've done this, then you have to prepare the data as well. So to prepare the data, we have to again send this data frame to the pandas library and using the pandas library, we are going to use df.head command and 
this command is going to return a specified number of rows strings from the top so let me do that over here for that i have to run again a code and this is going to be my simple code run it and let's wait for it once we do this step after that we can preview the data and now we can go to this data tab and here transform data in data wrangler that's what we are going to select and we are going to select our data frame once you are over here what you have to do you have to navigate to this operations panel so let's view the data our view data is appearing over here and also the distribution you can see completely in this column y if i'm going to select y you would find this 20 20 40 which is uh, kind of a decreasing value here and if you would see the 70, uh, 70, 75th percentile over here is 201.5 as well so i'm going to create a column where my y value is going to be greater than this 75th percentile for that i can come here under the operations and i'm going to click on this formulas pane i'm going to expand it and i'm going to click create column from a formula here i'm going to create a new column and the new column name is going to be the risk and here I'm gonna write the formula so formula would be I'm gonna select the column Y Y this is going to be my column and then I'm gonna say value should be greater than 211.5 close it and type would be int so as type int that's what I'm gonna write it over here so it's saying C code panel for errors it's done and you can also see my formula over here that's the column i'm creating so let's wait the column is going to create it over here which is here and the value would be in binary so we can see that the count of rows with value one should be roughly 25 percent of all the rows because it's the 75th percentile over here which is 211.5 now it's done so what we have to do we have to add this code to the notebook for that you can either click on this one or if you would like to simply save or copy the code to the clipboard you can do that as well so click over here and now we can describe it so when you select uh, describe then you would get all the values like mean max etc so let's go at the bottom so let me run this first yes now i have added my code here and now i can run my command which was df underscore clean dot describe and i can write it like this so run this command now and now you can see all the mean men count 75th 25th percentile etc over here and you can see that on risk it's around 25 percent all right till then we have just wrangle the data we get the data etc now what we are going to do we are going to train machine learning models for that i'm going to again create a code and i'm going to make it as a markdown and let me edit it first now i'm gonna run certain codes over here if you are from the data science background then you already know how to train a regression model and how to train a classification model for predicting risk we are going to use a regression model to predicting y values or we can also run a classification model to predicting risk column values over here so these two columns we are going to use over here so for that we have to run a code to split the data into a training and test data set which we usually do and separate the features from labels y which we want to predict so i'm going to run this code over here which is going to split it into two data sets which is going to be my training and test data set so let me run this code okay this is running and it's been done now i'm gonna run a new code to this notebook and this i have to run because we are going to use over here scikit-learn library and also we track the models using mlflow so i'm going to run this over here which is going to be my mlflow and here you can see i'm going to run scikit-learn library so let me run it again and it's done now at last what i'm going to do i'm going to run one last code over here because you have to also basically run this code to create your mlflow experiment with the name diabetes regression so let me come down over here and let me create the code here this is also a code somehow which i have to delete and here i can run this code and let me run it 
and what does this code is doing basically this code trains a regression model using linear regression parameters matrix and artifact artifacts are automatically logged with ml flow that's what doing over here and it's done now we are going to train a classification model as well for that i'm going to create first a markdown and now i'm going to run again the same code first i'm going to split the data into training and test data set and separate the future from the label risk that we would like to predict over here so for that run this code you can see that again i'm using scikit library and here i am splitting it so click on this run after that i'm gonna again add a new cell and i'm gonna run another code where i'm gonna use the ml flow so let me come here again and run my this code this time and here you can see that last time i used the y column and here i'm using the risk one so let me run it over here this code again creates ml flow experiment named diabetes classification and we can track our models tracked using this one your models will be tracked in this experiment after that we are going to add another last code last piece of code in this notebook and let me add it over here and this is going to import logistic regression now the code trains a classification model using logistic regression parameters matrix and artifacts are automatically gonna load with ml flow as we did previously if you would like to view your statistics you can view from here so click on this and over here you can see your all the run metrics and also the accuracy which is over here 0.877 which is going to be around 87 percent of accuracy so everything you are going to get it over here once you're done you can save your model you can create as a new model here you can select the folder and you can give it a name i'm going to write it demo diabetes or just write it diabetes model that's what i'm going to do but you have to probably separate it by this and save it it's going to take some time but then it's going to save into your workspace we will go back and check it so you can see that my diabetes model has been saved if i would like to check it i can simply click on this if i would like to check my run book or notebook i can check it over here so that's how you can do your data science work or train your models in microsoft fabric what do you think guys about it will you gonna use it or is it gonna be helpful for you please do let us know in the comment section if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. If you have any requirements of any Power BI related trainings, then you can contact us. And also stay tuned for more updates. See you in the next video.